Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Come Away. And this is directed by Brenda Chapman, who had previously directed The Prince of Egypt and Brave, taking on this live-action affair. And it's combining the stories of Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland as two young children lose their older brother and try to do all that they can to keep their family together. And this is an interesting film, to say the least. It's a very beautiful film. How everything is shot, the colors, the framing, the magical realism that they inject into it, it gives a very magical feel to everything. And I feel like that's one of the biggest positives about the film, is how gorgeous and engrossing the film watching experience is. You also have some really strong performances. David Oyelowo and Angelina Jolie give strong performances as the parents, as they have some heavy emotional moments to carry, especially with the loss of a son. And the two young actors we have in Kira Chansa, who plays Alice, and Jordan A. Nash, who plays Peter, they give strong performances for child actors and they really stand out in this film and they're expected to carry a decent amount and where the performances are strong and the visuals are strong something just feels off about the film and the story it's really fun when it cuts away into these scenes of like magical realism where you feel like twigs turn into swords and they start having sword fights and stuff like that and Something about this film makes it feel like it shouldn't work with the particular story that they have at the center is a strong, dramatic story. The father has his debts, has tense familial background, and what's causing issues in his family. And then Angelina Jolie's sister has this different perspective on how the children should be raised. And there's a lot of tension. By the way, that character is a completely just stereotypical, horrible person and has like horrible heat every time she shows up on screen that just like wishes this character wasn't in the film. But you have this story that's packed full of really great potential for a drama. And yet, it's bogged down by really, really on-the-nose references to Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland, where it feels like they're purposefully trying to fit these pieces of literature into the story, and it feels forced, inorganic, and awkward. And it feels like it's distracting from the dramatic aspects of the film. I'm imagining this film came about with this idea, but I feel like the story gets muddled by these details and the gimmick of the film, where the film as a drama would have worked better without those gimmicks, and the Alice in Wonderland ones feel extra tacked on. They make the Peter Pan references work very deeply within the story in terms of, like, not in the sense of deep as in meaningful but deep and threaded into the story where it's pretty cemented in there. The Alice in Wonderland ones though just feel really tacked on and needless and towards the end it goes full-blown like fantasy and I felt like the rest of the film didn't really earn that and it kind of took away from the real impactful moments of the drama and where things are going. I feel like you can have an enjoyable experience watching this film, enjoying everything that's a part of it, but I feel like it's too muddled to really come together to have a truly meaningful, dramatic experience. And it's a shame that the story feels like it's railroaded by, well, its own story, or story elements, or thematic elements. And in the end, Come Away feels like a bit of a muddled mess of an enjoyable journey. It might be a little too intense for everyone in the family, but I feel like it's definitely geared more towards like a familial drama 
that has childhood elements to it. And I think that you could at least get enough out of this to enjoy the experience. But those are my thoughts on Come Away. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.